Hi guys, and hello to all my fellow sticker enthusiasts. Today we'll be testing and reviewing four matte sticker paper brands. I do not want to keep you here all day, so let's jump right in. For reference, I drew all my sticker designs in Clip Studio Paint, and after saving them all into PNG files, I imported them into Silhouette Studio. And here's me trying to decide which sticker sheets I want to use for my testing. I knew I wanted to pick designs with a lot of colors, and I wanted to see how vibrant they could get. And I knew for certain I wanted to test my strawberry fogs, as I was scared of the red being too dull or getting smudged on certain brands. For each sticker brand I tested, I used the same designs and also the same cutting and printing settings. Each sticker page took about two minutes to fully print and finish, regardless of the paper brand. First up, we have the Ava Vinyl Sticker Paper. This is the 15 sheet pack, and I don't know if it was Amazon or just the package I received, but mine came partially open and it was also falling apart on the side, so I don't know what went wrong there. When I opened the package, I noticed the paper was pretty good weight. It claims to be durable and water resistant. However, on the back, it says that it's waterproof and water resistant and waterproof are two different things. However, I will be retouching about the waterproof aspect later on. The pack came with a little pamphlet with all the different types of sticker paper that the company has to offer, which I thought was a very nice touch. Now, this is where things started going wrong at the beginning. I did mess up the printing. I printed on the wrong side. There's no way to distinguish which side is the right side to print on, so I just kind of guessed and ended up printing wrong. Now, I did reprint. There was some significant smudging on the correct print, and I wasn't sure if it was from the excess ink from the misprint, so I did print again just to give the Ava paper a fair chance. On the packaging, it does say to let it dry for five minutes after printing. So after letting it sit, I did an ink can smudge test and there was no smudging. Next up, we have the Lexiton Premium Vinyl Sticker Paper. This is a 25 sheet pack and it claims to be waterproof, has an anti-scratch coating, tear proof with a strong adhesion. I did get a nice and rather big thank you card, but I think it also helps with protecting the paper by being a barrier to keep the paper from folding and creasing. Lexiton is a family owned brand, so something to be conscious about if you're into supporting family owned businesses. The paper was on the bit of the thinner side, but it was easier to tell which side was the printing side. Lexiton claims to be quick dry, yet still says for the sticker paper to dry naturally for at least 5 minutes or 24 hours for best results. There was no smudging on my hand, however I did have some black ink smudge I am assuming was from the printer, not necessarily from the paper itself. Next up, we have the Joyeza Premium Matte Sticker Paper. This is the 25 sheet pack. It claims to be durable and water resistant, quick drying with an excellent adhesion, and is also a small family owned business. Now I can't claim to know how good their customer service slash support team is, but they do list their support email like six times on the back. So it really is comforting to know that they are willing to accept feedback and give any assistance necessary. The pack came with a little user guide sheet, which was very nice and a front side sticker to distinguish which side was the correct side to print on. Thank you so much, Joyeza. The paper, however, was on the thinner side of things, most comparable to the Luxitin thinness. For the smudge test, on the packaging, it did state, in most cases, the print should be dry to the touch within 30 seconds, due to our paper's special coating. But I did wait the five minutes I'd given all to the other brands just to be on the safe side, and luckily, I didn't have any problems. Last but not least, we have the Koala Inkjet Vinyl Sticker Paper. This is the 20 sheet pack, and it claims to be fast dry and durable, also resistant to tears. Side note, I also ordered the glossy version, and it came in just a plastic wrap and no envelope. I don't know if that's an Amazon thing or a brand thing. I don't know if any of you have had, any, had a similar situation. If you've gotten it in the envelope, please tell me in the comments below. Now this was the only packaging that opened on the side and not the top. There was also no extra cardstock or anything keeping it from creasing, and no thank you card or pamphlet. I also couldn't find an email or any way to contact Koala, which seemed a little bit sketchy. However, the paper is on the thicker side, which I really do enjoy. 
Unfortunately, it does have some printed words on the back, as the other sticker paper brands do not and is completely white, but it was easy to know which side was the correct side to print on. There is no waiting time listed on the packaging after printing, so I did leave it to dry for about five minutes and no smudging occurred. Okay, so now that I've printed everything, let's compare the colors. Um, they are a lot brighter in person than on camera. Camera's coming up really dark, so I might have to do some edits in post. Um, so Ava was the first one I tried. Now the biggest issue with the Ava brand is I got bleeding around my reds. You can definitely tell right here on the eyes. And then also the greens. It has like this darker green mark around the edges on all of them compared to the edges of here. And also you have more bleeding around the mouth. Of course the eyes, that one's really bad. Eyes right here too. Um, bleeding between the pink and the red. And I was like, okay, well, it was my first page of the day, which probably wasn't the best thing to do but i was like okay let me try again it was the same settings but just done again printed again and unfortunately you still have the bleed around the reds it's not as no noticeable as the first time but it's still very much there around the mouth especially around the eyes just around the borders and it just uh disappointing i did try however on a lower setting but as you can see the colors are different this is actually more of like a lighter pastel than these deeper colors um i do kind of like my reds more here they're a little bit more lighter than the deeper reds however it's not what i fully want i still want my reds to be pretty rich um and bright and i just it just not I, I don't like how light the brown is it's just not what i want so i'm probably not gonna go with the ava paper at all however i still think i will do a cut test just to make things fair between all the other papers so the next brand i have is the luxotin i don't know if it's luxotin or luxotin um i do have some smudging right here on my printer i don't know what happened i'm thinking that this is actually i lied in my last Few minutes ago um this was my first page i printed on the wrong side of the ava so i think it created some like inking mess in my printer which then translated onto a later sheet so i'm not uh this is like a printer problem not like a paper problem i'm paying more attention to the crispness and the color quality this is uh all my papers are on the same setting my frog berries however are very crisp no bleeding or anything like that um, the reds look great. Uh, nothing to complain here. I will say that, I'll show it in a second, the yellows are actually a little bit more brighter and better on the koala paper, which I'll show in just a bit. Next we have the Joyza. Um, I will say the Joyza and the Luxton, um, have to be definitely on the thinner side of things. Like, their paper is definitely more flimsy compared to Iva or Ava and Koala. However, my colors still look really nice. Nothing to complain here. They're still very similar to Luxton. Uh, the reds are a l not as deep, I don't think, as this one, or as like rich, but it still looks good nonetheless. I think these two are very similar. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are both family-owned brands. Don't quote me on that but again nothing to complain here the brown looks a little bit i know it's so slight i think you can see it a lot better in person is a little bit deeper and richer compared to the joys of brand but however everything still looks great and no complaints in terms of printing next we have the koala paper and i wanted to do some comparisons um you will see that my yellows are and my brown lines are a lot more darker than compared to my joys's it's very slight, um, but it really does make a big difference. My colors seem a little bit brighter in the koala. I know you really can't tell, but in person, it just, I don't know how to explain it. It's very, they're more vibrant. My brown is a little bit richer and darker compared to the Joyza. My yellows just seem like the correct shade, I guess you could say. And my reds on my frogberries are very crisp. I can definitely see the the font um the lines are nice and crisp like this is definitely feels like a photo or like a png that i just literally just printed out like that just like took took from my computer screen and then just boom made it like real so really love this paper i've heard really good things about this however one con is they do have this um like branding and text on the back 
um however i can't see because i don't if you can see like you can see the backing because it's more of like a thinner paper you can't see that with koala it's like thicker it's like a heavier sheet so i don't know this bothers me a little bit um but not really i just concerned about the customer if i sold this product how would they would feel about having like other branding or text on the back but i also i just noticed this this is more of like a bright white compared to these are more like an off-white cream i don't know if it's the same no in person they look well i take that back this looks more like the lux tin definitely looks like a different sh they're definitely different shades of white but koala being the less, I don't know, brighter shade of white. However, can't complain in terms of color. Okay, they all look the same. Well, this one's brighter. Wait, this one's brighter. You think so? Yeah. Well, maybe it's the lighting. Let me see. It's the lighting. Okay. So the problem I had with the, that yeah. one yeah. is look around the eyes of the frogs, the strawberries. You see how there's bleeding? No. Look, look closely. There's like, there's like bleeding around the eyes. No. You can't see it? I can no. see it. I can, I can't it's tell. It's very, it's minute. very. See, cause you're the creator. No, but like, no, it's so obvious. No, look, look, yes, I it don't is. Look, see look. it. Look, okay, look at that. Okay. And then look at that. You see how it's more clear? Well, this is just more prominent. It's yeah, more black. Yeah, but you black. see like that? Okay. Like a little bit of bleeding right there. And oh, then right there, do you see it now? That makes me think it's shadowy. Oh, it makes me think that's just shadowy. No, it looks really, like, look at the mouth. Okay. Stuff. It looks, oh, yeah, I gosh. understand. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, then, it is so, No, I can't, it's so, so noticeable. What do you mean? And then like, minute. there's like, you see the little green line? Yeah. Right there? Honey, that looks like shadowing to me. I don't like it. <laughs> I like that. I don't like it at all. I like that they're shadowing. I don't like that. Okay, this doesn't look different, right? This looks the same. I mean, it's your preference. To yeah, me, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know if I was, I didn't know you, I yeah. you, I wouldn't notice. So I would just think that was shadowing. I really like this one. Why? However, um, it's just like my, you can barely tell, but like the brown is like mm -hmm. a little bit richer. The colors here are a little bit richer. Like the pink, this mm -hmm. one's a lighter pink than this pink. Okay. Girl, yeah, okay, I see it is a little bit darker. And just like... This looks the same to me. And then my yellow, I don't know. There's like, it's a, like my brown lines mm -hmm. look a little bit darker than like over here. Like especially you can see in the eyes. Mm -hmm. A little bit darker than yeah. here. Uh, the only thing about this is it has, it has that on the back mm -hmm. compared to the other ones that don't. Mm. So, but I don't know if people care about that. That's the thing. I don't think they'll care. They, they're going to care more about yeah that's what i'm thinking that. also these two um the only problem i have with these two is they're oh, the they're, th they're thinner yeah so it's like I don't oh know they are compared to this one this one they have more let's go with koala thicker. yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking that was that's gonna feel like it's more of a better quality mm -hmm. next up was cutting all the stickers i used all the same settings for each paper brand and because some paper is thicker than the others I did cut some stickers a little bit too much, and my kiss cuts ended up cutting through the paper completely. However, I'm not knocking off any points for that, because each paper is different when it comes to cutting, and honestly, sitting here for hours on end troubleshooting the perfect setting for each brand when I'm not going to use every brand does not seem worth the headache. Whatever sticker paper I choose, I will figure out the specific settings when I get to it. Overall, I didn't have any major issues. It's just paper that I cut with my machine. I know some sticker papers create a lot of extra quote unquote paper dust when cutting. Fortunately, none of the papers I tested seem to have that issue. Now, time for the stickiness test. I do just want to test out just to see like their stickiness on a paper. I don't know which sticker to do though. Uh, this is a hard decision. I think we're gonna go with the bunny pop tart. Oh. I'm just gonna stick her in. I guess I should have done more evenly. And this is the Luxatin. So I don't know what happened, but it didn't cut. These two didn't get cut. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, this is starting to peel, so I guess I'll just 
Oh, I think I cut this one too much too. Well, whatever. Oh, this sticker. The stickers are so thin. I don't really like. This Ava sticker paper, I swear, just is not vibing with me, dude. It's just not like. It's not agreeing with me. All right. And then we're gonna do the goat, which is the koala paper. I'm really enjoying this koala sticker paper. I'm gonna be 100% real with y'all. Comes off pretty clean too. I mean, it's still thin, but it's not like flimsy, I guess you could say. And then the Joyza. Also, this one's like falling apart. I think I did too much of a setting on this one because like, also it feels kind of flimsy. Um, actually this one's taken off. <laughs> Let's do the cat donut. Uh, I will say that the, the Lex tin, the paper f does feel thicker. Like the sticker paper felt like probably the thickest in terms of quality. These are definitely more on like the thinner side of things. Um, I will say, I think they're pretty easy to... Let's see, let me see how they, okay, this is really, like, stuck on here. Oof. Still sticky. Okay. This is the, which one is this one? This is the Ava, I think. Ooh. I'm just scared this is gonna tear. Okay. No, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I did mess up the corner but um that's to be expected with matte sticker papers it's okay, still pretty sticky to be honest still sticky and i'm gonna put that back on there okie dokie and then which one is this one the joy set okay this looks like a soon also like when you take it off, you can like, you can tell how thin it is. I wouldn't say this paper is bad, but it's just more on the thinner side of things. So I guess when I put my sticker cutter settings, I should have put in a lower number because it cuts so easily. I think I had it on like three already. I guess it needs to be at a two. Okay. Still sticky. Yeah. So I will say that the sticker in terms of like the stickiness I don't think is too much of an issue uh, I want to test it on like sticking on like other things like water or something or like a water bottle and seeing how that goes also side note this doesn't have to do with the sticker paper but more so in my design um, I'm probably gonna have to do an extra like white bleed line because the if it's not a hundred percent like straight even if it is I do have a little bit of bleed that's from the background uh, and I want to avoid that and to save quality. So I might have to do another file and add a, like a centimeter border, extra border around the white, just so it doesn't like catch the background. Ugh, decision decisions. So all these sticker brands claim to be waterproof. I mean, they do suggest putting a fixative on top of it just to be on more on the safer side. But I want to see how these react with just on a water bottle put straight up water on it to see how it stands up. I'm um, really curious. And just for reference, top left is Ava, top right is Lexitin, bottom left is Joyeza, and bottom right is Koala. I was talking about it as I was putting on the stickers, but it took up too much time, so I cut it. Just so you guys know, I kept track of which sticker was which one. For the water test, I ran each sticker under super hot water for at least five seconds. I didn't use any soap or abrasive sponges. I just wanted to see what would happen if you just briefly got the stickers wet. And surprisingly, no bad effects. Each sticker looks fine, almost as if nothing had really happened. I did wipe the water off with a cloth and no ink residue or smearing appeared on it. Now there is a white dot on the Luxitin sticker, although I'm not too worried about it. Overall, pretty damn good results.
Okay, so it's been a few weeks and I've washed this bottle a few times with both hot water and a sponge and oh my, you can definitely see some wear and tear now. Scratches, dents, discoloration, you name it. The koala sticker practically rubbed away completely. For reference, this is Ava, Luxatin, Joyeza, and Koala. Now I will say I did look back on the Koala paper packaging and it never truly said waterproof or water resistant and only states to increase durability and achieve full waterproofness, didn't know that was a word, especially when using outdoor, we recommend print the stickers with UV ink and apply a clear acrylic sealer. So I can't blame Koala for not holding up as well. Also, Joyeza claims only to be water resistant and not waterproof. Please keep in mind the other three brands recommend that you do put on some type of a UV resistant sealer spray to achieve the best results. This was more so a durability test to see which stickers would hold up the best naturally. Before we get into my final thoughts, I wanted to do a quick price comparison between all the brands. I also would like to disclose that I bought all my sticker paper during Amazon Prime Day to save me some money not just for this video, but for myself and my business. I didn't want to end up spending a lot on paper because I knew there was a risk in knowing that I may not use some of this paper ever again, so I wanted to keep those costs low as possible. However, I will be discussing the prices of what I paid, what the website of the brand charges, and Amazon. Please keep in mind that these prices are subject to change and will vary. A lot of the time, the company will tend to give you coupons if it's your first time purchasing. I, however, use the non-coupon prices for my comparisons. The Ava sticker paper ended up being the most expensive, having each sheet be almost a dollar each. Now, I did look at the 50 sheet pack option, seeing if I get it for a cheaper price, and you're paying about 63 to 67 cents per sheet, which is definitely on the high side. For the Luxatin sticker paper, for the best price around, I feel like you should go for Amazon. However, I would check back on the website and see if they can offer you any special deals or coupons. When you buy on Amazon, you end up spending a lot less money per sheet than you would on the official website. For the Joyeza paper, you're spending about as much as you would the Luxatin. However, I couldn't find Joyeza as an official website. I only found it as a brand only on Walmart or more commonly seen on Amazon. I could not find a 50 sheet option, only a 40 sheet option, so I didn't put it on my chart. And last but not least, we have the Koala sticker paper that end up being the cheapest papers by far, having Amazon sell it for almost 37 cents per sheet if you buy the 50 sheet pack. Now onto my final thoughts. Okay, so final results. Please keep in mind this is based off my own experience and my own opinions. So I have to say in last place has to be the Ava sticker paper. For the price and the problems I was having, in my personal opinion, compared to these other three brands, it's not worth it. Um, and it's the most expensive, so no thanks. Um, I have to say, in like tying for second place, I'm probably going to have to say both the Luxton and the Joyza. Um, they're both owned by if i'm not mistaken they're both uh family owned brands the colors look pretty much the same the quality in terms of, like the thinness of the paper and i will say the luxton feels a little bit thinner than the joyza however i still feel like they're still good like quality like i don't have any complaints so these definitely just feel like the same pieces of paper like no complaints here and for first place did you really have any doubt is the koala sticker paper in terms of price it's the cheapest um quality the paper feels thick but not super thin at all the colors look great the stickiness was great i really don't have any big complaints about the sticker paper i believe the only con i have was that it does have this branding and font on the back but i don't know if that 
really matters to the person who's purchasing the sticker. Let me know if you care about that stuff in the comments below. I mean, I do make sure to put my own username and my own shop name on my sticker so people know where it's from. Um, I don't know if people care about that, but I have to say the koala paper is really good. I've already heard really good things about this, so I'm probably just gonna have to stick with koala to be honest. All in all, I have no extreme hate for any of these sticker papers. I think all of these still, the colors still look nice and vibrant. And whatever sticker paper you go with is up to you and what you want. Thank you for everyone who stopped by and checked out my review. I plan to be opening my shop hopefully sometime this year. All of my social media is linked below. I hope all of you have a magical day. Bye!